Yo, what's up? It's me, Target Pro, and I've been reading some of the comments on the video when I created how to hack, reset a Windows 10 forgotten password without using anything, pure skill only, command prompt only. A lot of people actually said it worked for them. There are also a few people who said it didn't work for them. So if you haven't watched that video, you can check that one here. I created this video for those people who haven't had it working because I did a quick research with Windows 10 and that trick that I did there was actually patched with the latest updates with Microsoft. If you're updated with the latest patches with Windows 10, that trick will not work. Now for the real ones out there, like this video as it helps your channel grow. And if you are not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Now jump in and let's start the tutorial. So that we can make a bootable disk, of course, we need to have a USB stick. We plug this one to our computer, have that ready there. We're going to download the program that we're going to use to reset a Windows 10. Now fire up your browser and we need to download this Hirens Boot CD. You click on the download here and you scroll down. Don't worry guys, all the links that I'm going to use here will be in the description below. You can click that one for faster access. You scroll down here, locate the file name. You can hover here, you can see there's a link there. Click this one and you can download the file that we're going to use. You can see it here, it's going to take time. This is depending on how fast your internet is. So you can pause this video because I'm going to cut the time that this file is going to be downloaded. Now we're back again and then the file is fully downloaded. There's a second software we need. Its name is Rufus. Links will be in the description below. Scroll down, locate the download file and you can see it here Rufus portable. The portable one will work. The other one will work also. But for faster implementation, you can go for the portable. Open this one. And then we can minimize this browser. Okay. Do you want to check uh, updates? No, we don't need. So here it is open. We need to locate that USB we plug in earlier to make sure that we are using the USB because you might be plugging a couple of USBs out there, you make sure that you're using the right USB. So we have only one here. So it detected that USB. Second thing, we need to locate that ISO file, that Hirens Boot CD we downloaded. Locate that one, click here, open. It will be loaded and then we can go for volume label if you want to rename this one. I'll just put it like this, Hirens Boot CD, and then click Start. Yes, it's going to delete all the files because we are going to replace whatever is in there and make sure you have a backup of that if those are important. Because for me, I know that I'm not going to use that anymore. So this will take time. And I'm going to cut some part of the video here so that we can save time. So you can pause it also. It's almost done. It took six to seven minutes for me. And we can use this one to reset any password of Windows. So we can unplug the USB. This is the computer we're going to reset. And try to click here, put in any password. Just say we forgot a password and then please try again because we forgot a password. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to restart this computer. I want to let you know guys that this Windows 10 that I have here is the latest version of Windows 10 as of this recording. So if the first tutorial that I created before didn't work for you, I can make sure this will work for you guys. While this is restarting, we need to plug the USB. We can also start from power off, powering on. Just make sure that the USB stick is plugged in. And then the purpose here is we need to change the boot menu for the computer so that we are going to boot from that USB. We need to be alert here so that by the time this is going to power up, we need to press the boot menu key. The boot menu key for this computer is F10. Boot menu for computer to computer varies from brand to brand. So I'm going to put a link on the description below so that you can check that one out. Or it is much better for you to research for it. 
Now, you can use the up arrow key and down arrow key to choose. We're going to choose that USB and then press enter. We need to wait up here because it's going to load up an OS. This is what we call live OS. That's why the name of this software is Hirens Boot CD Live. Or they call this one Live CD. So it will take time for a bit to load up the drivers. Okay, so it will blink blink for a few seconds to get ready. And... I think we can use it already. So go to the start menu. Let's make this one quick. Type in NT on the start menu and then it will search for that software that will be NT password. Click this one to open and then you will have a program open here. You can see that it selected the C drive already. Click open and you can see the active and inactive accounts with that users so you can also enable administrator account because by default that is uh, uh, locked and then you can click for the account you have that's Torogi Pro and then click reset we're going to put the password we want so I'll just put one two three four five six seven eight nine zero again one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay and then unlock save close we can restart the computer that's it unplug the usb now there's a lot of feature that you can use with that hirens boot cd but it will be up to you to discover because our main goal here is how we can use hirens boot cd to re reset any forgotten password with windows 10 my apologies guys on the part where the video got a little bit blurry when we did a reset because the the brightness of the screen was too much for the camera to capture so it's a little bit not clear so if you have any questions you need to verify something from me just drop a comment down below and I can guide you up if you want to so our computer right now is booting up and let's try to see because I'm too excited. There you go. Let's put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Go. Oh. Ta da! And that's the latest wallpaper of Windows 10. So, if you have any questions, just drop a comment down below. And if it's your first time in my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe like this video and share it to your friends once again this is toroge pro and i would like to see you on my next video goodbye